I was just discussing with some friends, like what happens if Halloween gets canceled? Mount Holly resident Jennifer Bloomberg loves Halloween. She works part time to design costumes for a local haunted house and decorates her own home every year with her daughter. It breaks my heart because Halloween is really a time for community. So it makes your town feel smaller or closer. So I, I think that's important about still having festivities, still having some creative way to get together. Bloomberg says the yearly witches ball in her town got canceled. Trick or treating is still up in the air like in other parts of the state, and nobody knows how they're going to keep the Halloween spirit alive. Traditional trick or treating is really not advised given the current circumstances. If a neighborhood is going to have trick or treating, then we really would recommend some kind of contactless uh, way of getting the candy out to the trick-or-treaters, uh, such as uh, making little goodie bags, putting out in front of your home, maybe on a table. Dr. Steven Santangelo with Virtual Health recommends staying outdoors and six feet apart, washing hands frequently, and wearing a proper mask, not a costume one. Guidelines echoed by the state. If it's a cloth mask, that would be fine, but some of these plastic costume masks are not really going to be appropriate. And wearing a cloth mask under a costume mask might even impede breathing in some people. So I think the best thing would be to have, have a mask that's part of the costume. Do you think there's still a risk though by having people touch candy that someone else touched. Yes, it, it, it definitely does. I guess considering washing every piece of candy would be the most aggressive way of doing this, but that may take a lot of time. So maybe trying to keep the kids from jumping into that candy too quickly and just putting it on the side for a good 24 hour period might be appropriate. So we thought, what could we do to still bring Mount or Halloween to Mount Holly without putting anybody in danger or making anyone feel uncomfortable. She created a Facebook page and asked her neighbors to decorate their homes. And then let us know where their house is. We created a map so people could just get in their car with their family any night of the week. More than 30 families and businesses transform their front lawns and porches. People have some serious uplighting, over the top cobwebbing, full size, like life size figures, animatronics, sounds that are involved. So when you drive by and maybe crack your window, you're hearing screams or music. I'm stunned. Bloomberg spent about two weeks with her daughter making sketches and searching her house for items she could use, like this milk jug turned witch. The local organization Main Street Mount Holly got wind of it and noted, you know, asked us, hey, can we get involved? We'd like to offer prizes. And we said, oh my goodness, thank you for your generosity. Yes, let's do it. A town of roughly 10,000 trying to make an old tradition new in the middle of a pandemic. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.